Right, here with Coach Pearson. Coach, you want to open us up? Yeah, I thought uh, you know it was a tough weekend. Obviously, uh, I thought Alaska came in here and played extremely well. Uh, you know, they got the lead on us, and, and we just never could get uh, get caught up. Uh, they moved the puck well. You know, we had penalty issues tonight, and you know we just can't do that against a good team like uh, Alaska and get behind the eight ball like that. But they're a desperate team, and uh, you know I thought we had a good start. I thought we were ready to play tonight, and. And we had a, you know, a couple individuals struggle, and we had to take the first penalty, and, and they score uh, that goal. And um, you know, we just could not recover. The five-minute major really hurt, also, and that's you know, it just takes you out of your flow of your game, and, and you get behind, and now you're playing from behind all night. So a real tough weekend for us. And, and now we're the desperate team. You know, we've, we've gone from third place to putting ourselves in a real situation where we're just going to have to claw and scratch, and then try and make the playoffs. What? Uh... What's the sense in the locker room at the end of the first period there when they get that goal with five seconds left? Well, frustrating. I, I think, you know, uh, you know, I mean, we had to kill three more minutes off of that major to start the, the second period, too. So uh, just not a great goal in the rush. I mean, Kunick makes a great play on it, but you can't give those goals up at that point. Uh, and then I, but I thought we did a good job the rest, of the, uh, uh, the rest of their major penalty to at least give us a chance to get back in the game in the second period. I don't think has been mostly solid all season. What were the issues this weekend you think that changed? Wow, I mean, it's it's we, we had guys, you know, last night left alone in front of the net. Tonight we had the guys in front of the net. I, I think it was a combination of just being a little too aggressive, and um, obviously they've got some very good players, and they moved the puck around well. But I, I thought we were over aggressive and just really missed some assignments tonight. We just did not seem to recover. And they, they got a couple breaks, but having said that, we have to we have to be better, and we have to be – Maybe not quite as aggressive on the PK because, like I said, we left guys wide open. It seemed like they liked that backdoor play a lot. It seemed to use it all weekend. Uh, was there anything you guys weren't able to do defensively to try to get in the way of that? No, I don't think so. I, I think they, they played strong. They won a couple one-on-one -on -one battles, and they got a couple of real good players who can make plays. And um, you know, we like I said, our execution on the PK was not good. So that's something we're going to have to address. You're having words with the officials after Malcolm's major. Did you disagree with the major designation there? Well, that situation, I guess they have to make sure. They just have to make sure. Like, you know, her player was down just before that on a block shot. And then, you know, they, you have to let up when a guy's, you know, hitting a guy from behind near the boards. And I think Malcolm did. He let up, but their guy goes down and he lays there for a little bit. And, you know, he's right back on the power play, and I don't like that. If you're hurt, stay down. But if you're not, you know, get back up and play the game. It puts officials in a tough spot, but we have to be careful. We talk about that all the time. Near the boards, you have to really be careful. And how frustrating is it when you see Blake Hedla go through the same situation and it's a two-minute penalty? Well, I guess I better not comment on that. But that, that, that's the frustrating part. But you still have a lot of game left and to play the game. And, and I thought we worked our way through that major. Uh, so that wasn't an you know, overall issue Tanner gets a nice goal on the power play. He's even though you guys seem to be fighting the puck, he still seemed to be uh, trying to make plays happen throughout the weekend. Oh, he skated well. You know, we had we had a, a few players play really hard and really well, and then we had some that played not very well. And we need everybody. We talk about you know we're only as strong as our weakest link, and we had a lot of weak links this weekend. You know, we're going to have to get back to work on Monday. I don't know what's happened in the last two weeks. They're, they're a good hockey team. They came in here, and they skated, and they hit, and they made the plays, and they got the goaltending, and we, we didn't seem to get any of those. So we're going to have to go back to work on Monday and get ready for Northern Michigan. Yeah, is the response really the important thing now? I mean, kind of, like, do you have to put it behind you and just focus on the response? Well, yeah, you have to. It's all about how you bounce back. You know, we can't change the scores, we can't change the outcomes of these games, but we have something to say in the future, and we're, we've got four games left, and, and we're right in the thick of things to, to make the playoffs. We have an outside chance to, to work on home ice still, but we've got an uphill climb. We've got three of the next four on the road, and that might be good for us. Maybe we'll play better on the road than we do at home, where we think we have to put on a show and there's the distractions and whatnot. I just didn't think we prepared very well this weekend for whatever reason. And I'll take some of the blame for that. I'll take most of the blame. I have to make sure... Our team's ready to play, and we come out and play. And uh, we just didn't seem to have, whether it's the energy or the focus needed to play in two games like this. You and Dallas were having some words in the game. What was the disagreement over? Well, I'd like to keep that between Dallas and myself. I mean, I've known him for a long time. I respect him as a coach and that. And, um, you know, we're, we're friends.
Sounds good. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.